This is a tutorial on uh, a game we call nine ball. This is a high-low game, and I've dealt eight hands, and I've opened them, so we couldn't figure out which hand would have won. This game makes you use two cards in your hand and one card in each row that's open. What's the first hand? Check these hands out. Ace deuce is always a hand you like to see. Four or five. I don't know. Mixed emotions there. Whether you would play ace, four, five, jack, queen. Over here we have a pair of nines. A pair of eights. Pair of threes with a couple of low cards and some diamonds. And then you decide whether or not you're going to play with this hand as the bets are made. Three bet, I mean, one bet and three raises. And uh, the man with the ace deuce obviously is going to do some betting. And the rest of them make a decision as to whether they want to play or not. So you pick the hand that you think would win. And you let me know later whether you were right or not. Keep it in your head for yourself. And here's how the cards are open. The first row is open. All three are open. And you see those three. Now you can't use, you can only use one card in that row. So the fives don't mean anything. So basically you have a four and a five which is, makes the ace deuce happy. And I think we showed a four someplace. Did we show a five? Yeah, here you go. So he's got a, a couple of pairs. The bets are made. And then you have to decide whether you're going to play or not. Then this next row is open. Look at the play of these cards. <laughs> wow. So you can use one of those cards, and that just, I don't know if it destroyed the ace deuce, because he can only use, he's got an ace and a deuce, and uh, the hand becomes very confusing. So uh, to make a potential low, a three on the bottom would somehow or other create the wheel. <laughs> wow. Anyway, mucho fun. Then the bets are made. And then the last row is open uh, one at a time. This is open. Bets are made. This is open. <laughs> bets are made again. And finally, oh my goodness. <laughs> That is the strangest assortment. Now we have to figure out who had what and who won the hand. Ace, deuce, four, ten. So it's a ten, four, two, one on the table. So a three and a five would win the hand. Here's a three and a six. So it gives him a ten, six. Three, two, no. Wow, <laughs> you have to figure this one out for yourself.